boys and girls. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. I want you to pause the video for a minute and try and figure out what the abbreviation is for the date, April 2nd, 2020. Okay, check your work with mine. The abbreviation for this date is four. The four stands for April because it's the fourth month of the year, January, February, March, April. Four slash two because it's the second slash 2020. Okay, today I am going to read the story Giraffes Can't Dance. This story has a lot of rhyming words, so I want you to listen and see if you can hear some of those rhyming words. Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. Oop, let me show you the picture for that page. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Trees, knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. I heard dance, prance, sad, bad. Up here it says jungle dance. The warthogs were waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Uh-oh, are the other animals being kind to Gerald the giraffe? Mm-mm. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. There he is walking away. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Do you see the cricket? to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. 
everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. All right, boys and girls, here is your challenge for the day that goes along with this story. I want you to do a little bit of P.E. So I want you to make up your own dance. Find some music and come up with a dance and then have your mom or dad send me a picture of you dancing or a video. I'd love to see it. All right, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.